this is your kit up with magic pond crafts and as you see before you it's a plain fabric it's a 14 count and some th uh, colors of threads and this is my brand new uh, whip that I again have not planned to do it but it's for charitable cause so um, I've received a couple charts to do it within the next I believe six months so uh, that's what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be out of these uh, Disney princesses and uh, I got two of them as I said so one is gonna be Pocahontas and you can see right here so that's where I'm starting and after that I got I can't remember I think Rapunzel um, I, I can't remember for sure <laughs> so but I know I'm starting with Pocahontas and um, that's um, we have to stitch uh, on a preferably on the 14 count so this is um, it's all ready to go and um, today is April the 1st and it's I'm not fooling you <laughs> because I want us to start something on the first day of the month so that's a chart it, the pattern is 105 by 150 in height and I believe it's a total of 12 colors only so it shouldn't be that hard to do um, although it's fairly big so we'll see how long it takes for me to stitch this one so let's start well today is april 5th and as you can see i've done quite a bit on this pocahontas piece and uh, according to pattern keeper i have 39.16 percent done or 39 36 uh, uh, stitches so I've decided to uh, go from the middle and uh, start filling out all the pieces so all up to here is fully done so um, can you tell that's two Pocahontas one is this one like looking up uh, in all in black done and another one is going to be the whole uh, the whole thing shaped as her that's her like uh, looking up so I've been using this for different uh, groups, different challenges, including magical stitches. I'm a, a survival of the stitchiest, and I'm on the um, dragon stitchy group. I'm trying to remember what else. Um, right now, myth and magic uh, round ended, so just in between rounds too. So it's kind of relaxation time. And of course, I'm using this in a couple of Lithuanian uh, groups, also um, like a group challenges. So this is, uh, as you can see, my um, my bottom uh, rolled up. So I wanted to show you uh, before I start rolling back up, and uh, this piece will be probably hiding underneath. So that's what it looks like, and uh, I might stitch uh, to the end of the day today and put it away because. I calcul uh, by calculations in the um, Angel Quill project, we need to have the pieces done uh, in the six months, so by the end of September. And I have two pieces, so one piece has to be done within three months, which is what 33.34 maybe percent. And I'm already past that, so that's good. And uh, I'm gonna continue just for today and then tomorrow I'm gonna grab something else and before that of course I'll show you how much I've managed to do in here so let's roll up and uh, you'll see in a second um, how much I've done it and here it is so I've just passed the 50% point so the the bottom uh, the top portion is all done and uh, there's going to be a little bit like an I guess the neck area coming down and a little bit more darker colors on the bottom and uh, there's going to be again more leaves and uh, scenery like that so that's where I'm gonna stop and grab another time and as promised I'll show you what I'm gonna grab uh, for today and for today, I'm going to use this pattern. Um, it's Adam and Eve Sampler by Therese or Shakespeare Peddler. And I'm going to try to do that for magical school homework. 
and uh, we have to do like a couple animals that um, uh, we can sort of like a melt together which uh, sample was given jackalope so um, I thought about mixing something in here there's plenty of animals that's like the only pattern I have a bunch of stuff so uh, I could do like I don't know what is this thing but I can do like a snake and a squirrel or a bird like a I don't know I haven't figured out the names yet but I'm gonna be using that and I'm stitching off the paper pattern so I don't know how it would um, look like percentage wise but I um, removed it on um, on a different frame so it's all like tied up in the sides and I I decided to try to do the stapling uh, these are the bars that uh, have a split in there so that's how I decided to do and as you can see I've done some words in the middle and I'm just gonna try to go up to the top wherever it is and continue and this is like a I think 40 count fabric so over one one over one stitching so um, let's see this like urn is right here so there's still quite a little bit go I think that might be the first flower bloom in this part so there's a little bit uh, to go and then I can start filling up from the top and I need at least 500 stitches for this and my goal for this year on this uh, whip is to put in um, minimum 1000 stitches or 10 hours depends how slow I go or how long I want to play with it so that's what I'm gonna do they're all with the DMC threads so um, just the fabric is over dyed um, so we'll see how it turns out I'm curious uh, to see on uh, the top too and uh, how those middle part uh, animals and birds are uh, gonna look like so let's start and here we are a thousand and a couple stitches um, more I hope you can see the difference I've been uh, slowly like picking up the color and uh, going uh, in and when the color pretty much ends up uh, almost gone in the territory and if my thread is done then I pick up some other color and again start from the bottom and go fill in all the parts so this is what um, what it looks like right now and I've decided a thousand stitches is good so I had uh, in my yearly plans at least a thousand stitches or uh, 10 hours and I did the stitches so for the rest of the year I guess if I want to stitch this or I can use for another a uh, homework part I can do that and it's still pretty fairly tight on this and um, today I've decided to grab a well-known uh, whip and I'll show you in a second and it's my head uh, lion or what's this and if you remember from what last month I've decided to kind of go all the way down to the very bottom of the pattern and kind of slow slowly start filling in so this is what it looks like right now it's uh, as a whole thing is done 71.14 percent so uh, you can tell that uh, it's gonna start soon or uh, rest of the bottom of uh, the body the the mane and uh, then it's darker colors will be towards the end so that's where I'm gonna start um, sure I'm not gonna fill in the whole thing I'm planning to work uh, at least uh, 2,000 stitches for this month but it might be more <laughs> I never know so so the right now it's kind of easier with a lot of blue colors uh, and uh, darker and lighter colors and we'll see maybe I'll be able to uh, finish off all the blues like in here the sky because you can see already a uh, dark and dark brownish uh, kind of color starting here so maybe I'll finish all the blue colors and I can uh, put them away already so let's see how it's gonna look and here it is on April 11th so I stopped last night 
And as you can see, uh, I've started filling out the darker spots and went into the whiskers uh, underneath the chin here. So it's all filled in. I had a little bit higher going like up to even here, some loose um, stitches in there hiding. So I started to fill in to go uh, back down. And um, through all those days, I think right now uh, this work total took... Uh, 57 days I believe uh, up to this point and I have just over 74% done or as uh, I would say done in those days uh, this month that I've been stitching it's just over 3200 stitches put in somewhere in <laughs> in here right so as you can see by the picture I started um, the darker spot here the shady part and then it's going to be uh, some again uh, lighter parts so like from here down and um, some streaks are going to be off his uh, fur but that will be maybe towards the end of the month or um, we'll see how the homework of magical stitches is going to be asking for if i need to use this whip or not but I've decided to uh, stop at this point. I know it's not very pretty here. I didn't do very nicely because I was taking very long space. So I decided to grab something else and let's look what I picked. And I picked two kings or um, king fairy tales by Lithuanian musician, uh, composer um, and painter Cherlonis. And the pattern is by Astra. And uh, let's see how uh, it looks before I'm starting this month. And here it is. So I'm in the, almost done with the second row. So I'm hoping, as you can see, this king is uh, that guy. And the uh, picture that I printed is giving off more reddish hues, uh, tones. And majority of what's going to be left in that corner is more of his outfit, but in the darker tones, not as bright as here. So it's not going to be anything very interesting, just going to be some mix of dark colors and then something is going to pop out. Like in here, for example, in his face, when I was looking, I was doing stitches and like, I don't know, some kind of weird stitches, right? And then I stood back a little bit more and it's like oh i can see the eye that it's looking down you know and the eyebrow in here and uh, like a shading of a nose so <laughs> up close it's always looking weird but then you stand up and then you can see it's like wow you know all the details popping out same like uh, this king also there's the eyes in here and the big cheeks and stuff so that's what I'm going to concentrate is to finish off this second row at least. Um, I'm going to be working a few days at least for this, minimum 2,000 stitches. So um, it might take me more than two, we'll see. But this is uh, what I'm going to be working on. And uh, I guess I'll see you in a second with the result. Well, it's evening of the 13th. And as you can see, I already finished the... Um, the corner there uh, there was at least a, a thousand stitches in just pure black no mixes just pure black and um, this is what it looks like the whole picture as as it is right now i unraveled because i'm gonna be moving my frame uh, and closing up this uh, top portion and uh, this is about a similar amount that's left so you're not going to see their heads um, next time. I'm going to roll this up. And uh, now I'm going to show you what I picked to work on next. And next is again a big picture. And actually it's bigger than my king's. And it's called Spoiled Child. And as you can see, I haven't done as much on uh, this one. It's... Um, Let's see, Two Kings or King's Fairy Tale is uh, done 44.8%, and this one is done only 7.6%. So I've, uh, as you can see, I've done uh, most of the uh, first row, and this is where the, the commode uh, starts, right here. So my printed picture is a little bit brighter than um, what originally is. And I've done a corner, you can kind of tell this a bit corner so I'm just gonna continue and um, 
where you can see uh, tiny stitches, that's where the, the lane is going to, first row is going to end. So I'm not going to finish first row this time yet, but I'm hoping to put in again at le uh, maybe a couple thousand stitches or 1500 at least in this um, row. So that's what I'm going to start and uh, we'll meet uh, when I'm done uh, stitching on that part. And wow, it's uh, night of the next day, the 14th, and guys, I finished that 1500 stitches section done. So it's uh, three uh, columns. So overall, it doesn't look like much. And uh, you can already see a little bit more of like a, this door uh, line uh, showing up. And uh, that's where it cut off. And I think it might take a couple more times to finish the row because it's about 30... Um, what 3500 left so up until here so I can do that way and wow when I looked um, after taking off everything that I had here pattern and stuff and I pulled it aside oh my gosh I'm looking like how big it's gonna be <laughs> like compared to my hand this is gonna be huge <laughs> huge and that's just the width right that and uh, there's of course uh, the width is smaller than the height, so wow, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big picture. <laughs> Somehow, I knew the numbers, but I couldn't imagine. And just when I'm about to finish this, the whole row, it looks like humongous. But anyway, I've done the 1500 stitches, so like I said, it's a little bit more in here. And um, I already picked something else. I'm gonna work on. Uh, maybe like three days so let's see and that's gonna be my George I had uh, side uh, tensions um, or rads taking off um, I had it unrolled and this is where the whole th piece is gonna be ending so it's so exciting to see <laughs> something like this not just a small portion of that so that's where I'm gonna start it's um, uh, eighth row so there's just a, this uh, part left so I'm really hoping I can um, go towards the finishing of this row and then the row and a little bit left will be to do so um, so far I'm I think I'm going okay as long as I don't skip the month and um, that's where I'm gonna start don't know how many days it's gonna take to finish this off and how quickly I can get bored with this because there's a uh, new pad, new uh, whip that I want to start, um, new project, and uh, there's still something to do for homework of magical stitches. So I don't know. I need to start probably for that also something new or pull out my oldest whip. And I don't feel like working on that, so I'm just gonna do right now this, and we'll see how um, how much I can do. Well. Today is already April 28th and as you can see I've uh, got something different that I've been stitching it. Uh, this piece is called Pocahontas. It's a series of uh, different diff Disney princesses and I'm doing that uh, sort of for a ch that charitable uh, project that I'm going to be sending a few of those princesses to be uh, put together in the quilt to be given to uh, families of uh, preemie babies um, and they those quilts uh, travel throughout the whole world uh, so I don't know where uh, these princesses will end up so that's the only piece I took with me when I went to my mother's in-law's house to work on and uh, I did not stitch a lot in there at all so just like a few hundred here and there and I'm very happy to say that uh, just over 1,000 left in here so uh, the whole shape is also sort of like a her um, head and uh, like, a, like a neck in here and you can kind of see um, Pocahontas standing here in, in the black. Um, I did not particularly want it to stitch uh, in the black with two threads because I think it's shine through. Of course, I have a bright light above. And I'm hoping that this a uh, 14 count uh, Ada fabric will shrink some more uh, so you can see a little bit better um, 
the whole picture. But uh, that's what I've decided to continue work on. I want to finish this. And um, the total of this piece is uh, just a tiny bit over 10,000 stitches. So I've started this in the beginning of April. And I'm hoping to finish it uh, within these uh, next few days. And I'm using this for different challenges, so uh, that also is encouragement for me to finish it. So as you can see, there's um, some shapes of leaves on the bottom left, and um, I have the pattern on the pattern keeper, which helps me a lot to just uh, pick a color and go with it for the area. And this is what it looks like right now, and uh, the bottom is like around here, so it's going to be tapered off uh, slightly like it, this corner. So I guess the next second you'll see is it uh, Pocahontas all finished. Well, ta-ta-ta, -ta, and my Pocahontas is done finally. I can't believe I, I cracked it through one month. So in total is one, uh, no, 10,050 stitches. And I just uh, managed to unroll it, and this is what it looks like in the whole picture. So you can kind of see where the black ends and brown starts in here. So I haven't washed it yet. I literally took it off um, with the frame and uh, wanted to show you because I wanted to do all those pictures for... Um, all the different groups that I have to post and then I wanted to start a quickly new one uh, to kind of new whip to grab and uh, do some homework for that uh, in the magical stitches so this is where I worked the last time mainly uh, the black in between and uh, filling in the leaves of different color and uh, like in here there is a uh, lighter in the inside and darker on the outside and the outlines like you can see in here but this is what um, my very first angel quilt project uh, looks like that's finished uh, you might tell that some kind of weird marking is here but because um, I've tried the first time my Stanley uh, holder um, that I've seen some other stitches using. I'll maybe I'll show you more about it, uh, how I worked on uh, with it um, later on. I'll experiment in different ways, but that's what the marking is, and it's just the squished stitches uh, from little teeth kind of thing. So this is what it looks like right now, and um, I started this on April second, I believe. So within a month, I finished this 10,000 stitch piece and the next one is going to be just a tiny bit smaller and it's going to be Rapunzel so as you can see the whole form is also like her body uh, her face would be like here uh, with the mouth area and the chin looking up kind of thing so uh, that's that and um, I posted I think in every possible place where I needed to post and uh, since the month ends tomorrow, I might be able to try and do uh, the homework that needs 1,000 stitches. And I'll show you which piece I picked for that. And I picked the Milady Chateau by uh, Dimensions Gold Collection. It's out of print uh, kit. For homework, it needed to be stitched on a whip um, that uh, I'd like to have a place for a party. And I figured uh, the mansion, the castle, or um, chateau in the French uh, would be perfect place to have a big party of all kinds of people who would be able to fit. And there is a ballrooms usually, big giant rooms that are meant for that. And by my uh, calculations, I have over 83% already done on this whip and uh, about the 6,000 stitches left. So... I think I'm just going to continue filling in uh, stitches itself in here. As you see, uh, it's been a while since I worked on this piece. I missed it a lot. And it has a different colors back stitching with different uh, amount of threads. It has uh, French knots, like those flowers in there and in the ladies basket and uh, half stitches. So it's all kinds of things if you've stitched dimensions uh, kids you know about it so i need to do 1000 uh, by the end of tomorrow and we'll see if i can do that or not so uh, 
we'll meet again in a second. Well, it's already May 1st, the Saturday, and I wanted to wrap up the month of April and uh, show you what I've done yesterday and a tiny bit day before that on my um, Milady Chateau. So as you can see, my castle is really starting to uh, be built and uh, a lot of the main uh, body of it is already done. And uh, like all... Pretty much all of the brownish yellowish tones were done in a half stitch with three threads and uh, windows and some of the parts are done with the uh, cross stitches and uh, also i've been filling in the trunks of the trees here i haven't done any back stitching this time and uh, i might do that next time but this is what it looks like right now and um, my uh, tablet shows that I have 85.32% done of the whole thing. So that's uh, encouraging, uh, maybe four times and uh, I might have it all finished up. Depends how many days I'm gonna spend each time. But um, I might do some backstitching of what was left from the bottom up to the castle and um, then continue with that i'm not sure there's going to be more sky here uh, to be done and uh, this is where i'm gonna leave uh, my melody chateau and um, the next video i'm gonna try to film today is going to be all about my stitch mania plans because it's mania and uh, i have it all written down what i want to work on and uh, eager to show you guys what i've planned and see if you could remember all of pieces that I've uh, done in the last mania. So this is what I finished my Lady Chateau. I just want to guys uh, thank you so much for um, for all your condolences um, to my me and my husband's family for losing uh, my mother-in-law and um, uh, I've been, we've been going through some of her stuff and as you can see this whole box is just Mill Hill kids that she's collected has hasn't done uh, any of them and I'm planning to uh, take pictures of all of them and post it on uh, probably Facebook um, page um, sales um, so all of these are the ones that we don't want uh, and uh, I just got little items here that I picked up uh, at least for a while um, to stitch um, that I liked from her um, stash so i might do the separate video also to show all of them um and post it on on the facebook uh, later on too not sure if you guys would like me to do video or just put the link where i'm gonna put all of these on sale because there's like different themes in here i haven't decided how much to price them but we wanna uh, sell all of these and um there's going to be more patterns probably coming up uh, much later on when we clear out uh, other stuff uh, in her house. So it's May. It's beautiful outside. Uh, we might spend a little bit of time working out there. And um, it's a stitch mania. So it's going to be a little bit crazy month. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. That uh, the weather is nice for you. And uh, I'll see you uh, soon. This was your Gita with Magic Pond Crafts, and you can also find me on Instagram, and um, we'll talk later then. Bye-bye.